Okay, I'm going to make some new safety lines for my reels. These are three of my old ones. Uh, this, this type stretches out to about 10 feet, but when you stretch it out, it's like two feet over the deck or so, and I just don't like it. People try to have to step over it, so I, I don't like that style for the way I use them on my boat. I like to be able to move the rods around a little bit while they're still connected when possible. Uh, here's another type which works pretty well. It's got a carabiner on one end with this kind of a whipping um, and one of these things trigger release on the other end which I kind of like that. Um, one problem with this is that the rope it tends to roll under your feet sometimes if it you know, gets wet and you run around the deck uh, so you don't want a tripping hazard. This thing uh, this is another one that came with one of my rods that I got used as a carabiner on one side and a loop on the other side. I don't like that because uh, you need to be able to disconnect it from both ends and it's just uh, getting old looking. So what, what I've done is I've bought some um, some eight strand braided line and uh, let me get that. Alright so I've got some eight, eight strand braided line. I don't know well you can see it but there are eight strands so uh, four sets of two that that make the weave and it's um it's it's it has very little well two things i like about it. sort of decorative i wanted them to kind of look cool um it has very low memory it just when you drop it just kind of you know stays down as opposed to regular nylon rope and another thing when you step on it it tends to flatten out so it should be less likely to roll under your foot uh, and be less of a tripping hazard so I'm going to make the uh, make the hand lines out of that type of rope. And there's instructions online on to how to splice it. it. It's a bit of a pain in the butt to splice, but it's doable. Okay, so I made four lines. I put uh, the little trigger latches on one end, and then I'm going to put the carabiners on the other end. So right now I just have a loop there um, where the, the, the trigger release will go onto the reel and the uh, carabiner will go underneath uh, on the rod holder. Um, this was the, the first first one I spliced and you see the technique was not as good as at the end. At the end uh, it was getting pretty good at it. A nice com compact little splice. Same thing here comparing those two. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye it. I want them to stand out to be different from any other line on the boat so people know immediately that their uh, safety lines are not any other kind of line. So I've got some dye and I'm gonna try to try to see how, how well I can dye them. Okay I got two packages of this uh, writ powder dye and it's red so I'm gonna make the lines red and I'm heating up the water that I'm gonna drop the lines into there. Okay the instructions call for adding a cup of um, vinegar and also a tablespoon of um, just liquid detergent. So there's my dye bath. Pour it in there. And then put the detergent and I should be ready to add the rope. Okay, I've pre-wet my rope over here. And now I'm just gonna add it in. It's still drip, still dripping wet. And here it goes into my bath. This will be cool. And the instructions say to uh, simmer it for 30 minutes. Let it simmer in this bath, stirring constantly. So that's what I'll do. Hopefully I uh, won't turn my spoon permanently red. And be curious to see what happens to those bronze uh, trigger snaps as a result of this process. Okay, so I'm stirring, stirring the rope. It's getting a little stiff from the heat, but I think that the uh, it'll soften back up after I remove the heat and work it a little bit. But. Uh, Coming out pretty red. Looks like a lobster. <laughs> kind of a crimson red, actually. All 
All right, it's been simmering for about 25 minutes. It's, it's pretty dark, so I'm just gonna stop it now. So it's to basically rinse it off in warm water and repeatedly uh, cooler and cooler water until no more color comes off of it. So I uh, will do that so now. Okay. Take my dye bath, the rope in it, and just dump out the dye. like a dark cranberry color or something. All right, so now I'm gonna rinse it with water. This is fairly hot. A little bit lighter, but still. Those brass things, look, the bronze things, uh, look unaffected. Okay, the water's pretty clear now, so I'm going to call this done. The sink itself needs a little scrubbing, but I've managed to turn that red. Okay, the water coming off is clear. So, put these things outside, let them dry, see what they look like. Okay, here's my finished product. These, uh, the color turned out a little darker than I thought. It's kind of a crimson color. But uh, for hand lines, it's fine. Um, definitely will stand out from my other lines. Um, the only thing my lesson learned is that in some cases the rope was kinked. So in that case, on that side looks fine. But on the other side, uh, there's a little bit of white that shows when it's bent the other direction. So if I were to do this again, I think at least initially, I would uh, kind of lower the ropes down into the pot from a vertical position the first time just to make sure that uh, the whole side gets evenly coated. But they're fine, I'm happy with them. So on to my next project.